What is going on? Charles Botenston here. We're going to be discussing something that I get all the time. I get questions about this way too often. Way too often. How do you keep the same diet? How do you wake up early? How do you make the sales calls? How do you do something that maybe I don't want to do, but it's on a consistent basis, okay? So we're really going to be going over the big L word, which is leverage, okay? You need leverage or accountability. Accountability, I've spoken about in multitudes earlier this year. Accountability is amazing, okay? We'll mix it in. We'll start with that last. We'll start with leverage first. So leverage in general, obviously everyone knows leverage. You know, when you're, when you don't want to do something, but there's this leverage that makes you do it. Listen, there's, there's ways that you can get leverage where it's completely just out of, out of something that you don't want to do. Doctor tells you, hey, listen, if you keep on the same path, you're probably going to die. You're probably going to get diabetes. You're probably going to get a heart attack. You're probably some kind of health concern. Or the other way is you're spending too much money, Mr. or Mrs. person. You got to stop spending so much money, okay? That leverage or you go into bankruptcy or your kid hates you or you start failing out of school or classes. That leverage of, dude, you got to get your shit together or something happens where you get in trouble and then they say, listen, you got to stop drinking. You got to stop smoking. Whatever the case is, there's leverage, which is completely and involuntarily done onto your life. It could be professional, just like I talked about the health consequences, the money consequences, the relationship, your girlfriend, your boyfriend breaks up with you and they say, listen, you're working too much or, or your kids say something, whatever the case is. I'm talking about voluntarily putting leverage into your life, okay? Leverage for me is knowledge, okay? I don't want to go to the Ty Lopez, but essentially it's, it's knowledge. So what I'm talking about is I'll go back to last year. So last year I said, I want to get this whole thing called health handled. I went into sleeping habits. I went, went into circadian rhythms. I went into food. I went into products that I put on in, in my body, like toothpaste and deodorant and things like that. I have a whole video about that. Go find that on YouTube. It's about just not good products and, and chemicals and everything else. I said, I want to get this whole, the whole area handled. Okay. Then I started looking into that. Everything is mindset. Everything is just consistently on a daily basis. What are you doing? What time are you going to bed? What time, what are you doing when you wake up before you go to bed? Is that affecting the amount of sleep you get? How much sleep are you getting? And then over time, over decades, this is going to bite you in the ass. And that's when I said, I want to start now. Then I started looking at people at the gym and I said, great guy makes a ton of money. Family loves him. Great kids. Wife is great. Everything is great except for his health. So that was the leverage. Okay. Then there's also the leverage of looking at people that are older than me and saying, Hey, listen, I want to have everything that this guy has except for the, the health problems and issues he's going through. I need to get this handled in your life. There's an area for me. It could be relationships. It could be business. It could be something that I know I'm going to regret in the future by not taking advantage of the time and the energy and the enthusiasm and the ability to do it while I'm single. I need to focus all my energy on that. So right now it's business. So, so the leverage of making sales calls, it's like, okay, let's play this out. There's so many people that have talked about this. Elon Musk has talked about this. Jeff Bezos, when he was quitting his almost seven figure job in New York city and going out West and starting this little startup called amazon.com saying, okay, let's do as Tony Robbins says, the rocking chair effect. Jeff Bezos said, let me go out all the way to my future and say, am I going to regret not, you know, starting this business for me? It's. I look at all the people, Gary Vaynerchuk has talked about this, where you visit a nursing home that actually brought back uh, thoughts and feelings of when I was visiting my grandma. And I said, I'm looking at these people and they cannot, I see it even on the street in New York city. I, I look at an older person and, and I, I literally consider what are, what are their regrets? What are their thoughts? What are their feelings? When they see me, a younger person, do they say, man, I wish I had the energy or that's awesome. That, that, that guy's hustling just like I did. You know, there's another book it's in my bag right now now that I'm reading and it's, it's a guy that he died, I think at like 49, 50 years old, but he had a full life in those 50 years. In other words, he had the lifespan of only 50 years that someone would have for a hundred years. So he, he condensed everything. He ran a multi-billion dollar company. He played hard and everything else. And ultimately, yes, it, it led to his death. But as they say, it's, it's not that life is short. It's just that you just waste a ton of time. So the leverage is you can, you can get leverage 
Anyway, so the knowledge, go back to that. The reason I say knowledge is because if you have no knowledge about the health consequences of not sleeping properly, not eating properly, not going to the gym, or the health consequences of just regretting or not meditating or having just negative jealous feelings or whatever the case is. If you're not saving money later on, that's gonna bite you in the ass. I know a good friend's father, he, he overspent. Now he's now he's so late in life that, you know, they had to downsize. He, he hated it. You know, he went from a house to a condo. You think at, at an older age, you wanna go from a house to a condo? No, you wanna go from a condo to a house or you wanna go from a smaller place to a bigger place or whatever the case is and not worry about money. So using the leverage of the knowledge of an area you wanna handle, relationships, say you're single or you just recently became single or you wanna start a business or, or you wanna start saving money or whatever the case is. So knowledge is number one. Number two is you have to look around to other people that are older than you and look at them and say, okay, what do I like about their life? What do I not like about their life? I really like that they have a great relationship with their kids, they're in shape, but they didn't really tackle the money issue, okay? you, you it, it's, it's having an and mindset. It's not an or mindset. It's money or health. It's a relationship or this. It's like, no, have it all, okay? Obviously, you're gonna sacrifice things like relationships. Jeff Bezos in his book did yesterday is, you know, between this and the everything store, him and Phil Knight in Nike. They, 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 there's probably a lot of people that don't like them because they were very, very tough on the people. Elon Musk is also in there. Steve Jobs is in there. You know, they were tough, tough managers, people to work with. So they probably didn't have the greatest relationship with a lot of people, but they built multi-billion dollar companies, all of them. So that's the thinking on an area that you want to change. You have to get leverage. We'll talk about accountability because I promised it. So accountability is, you could go one way or the other, okay? Accountability is why people hire coaches or personal trainers. You know, I, I was talking to this guy this morning at the gym and my accountability of going to the gym is all the people I'm gonna see in class if I skip it. So in other words, say I skipped today at the gym, which I didn't, but last week I did because I went for a bike ride and then on Tuesday, I, like an idiot, set my alarm for p.m. instead of a.m. Complete amateur hour, missed the gym. But the accountability of walking into the gym the next day and people like, dude, where were you yesterday? You know, or you go into work, dude, and, and you're not making the sales calls. Dude, why aren't you making the sales calls? So the accountability to other people. That's why they hire coaches, personal trainers, things like that. Then you could also do the money, money accountability. That's what I'm doing right now. For the month of November, I have the money accountability where I gave a check for $1,000 if I don't make a certain amount of sales sales calls and I do something else that I need to do or I want to do. So I gave that to a friend. It's already out of my bank account. I have to do it. And then once I meet those goals, okay, so the money is going to a political figure that I don't like and that I don't want them to get my $1,000. All right. So it's it's already out of my bank account. It's not, a, it's not a blank check, but if I meet my goals, then I then see that goal and I increase it 10, 15, 20%, depends you know, how hard it was to reach that goal. I don't want it to be over the top, okay? If I don't reach the goal, he sends the check out. If I do reach the goal, I send him more money, which is gonna be 10 to 15% more. You know, So I sent him $1,000, if it's 15%, obviously $150. So you have to find leverage or you have to find accountability. That is the only way. I do not trust myself. I, I have my phone on airplane mode. I have it on do not disturb. I, I just, I, I need to put things in place. And it's the same thing unless you're extremely disciplined in your life. So hopefully that helped. If you guys have any questions, leave in the comments below. If you want me to talk about something that's on your mind, definitely uh, shoot me an Instagram message or leave in the comments below. Have an amazing day.